You guys, check this out. So for Christmas this year, I went a little overboard and I bought the farm a boat. That's right. I know what you're thinking. What the heck does a farm need a boat for? But if you've ever seen snakes on a plane, well, now you're going to see goats on a boat. All right. We got to go unveil the boat. See what Alyssa thinks. Alyssa! Yes? So I bought the farm a boat. What? That's right. What are you talking about? So here, take my mask. Blindfold yourself. For what? For the unveiling. It just arrived. You really got us a boat? I got us a boat, babe. Come on. Put the blindfold on so I can show it to you. Babe, why are you recording me? You really got us a boat? Come on, babe. This is a big deal. Like, I want to show you the boat. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Are you serious? That's right. And it's, Why am I covering my it's face It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. What am I supposed to do with this? Put it over your eyes. Come on. It's clean. I just used what? it like a thousand times. Don't worry about it. Okay. There you go. You can't see out, right? No. No. All right, I'm gonna take you over to the boat now, okay? Okay. Let's go. Wait, slow down. Come on, Fish. walk faster. Slow down, slow down. Hurry up, the boat's gonna sail away, Alyssa. <laughs> you really got us a boat? Oh my gosh, babe, I oh, hope you like it. You a boat. Oh, it's amazing. so nice. Wait, it's such a nice down. boat. Slow down. Hold on. Can I take these off? No, not yet. All right, here, come on, walk in. Okay. Walk in. All right. All right, here we go. Keep going. Okay. All right. All right. All right, take off your mask. This is All righty then. That's right, Noah's Ark. I don't get it. It's Noah's Ark. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> when did you do this? <laughs> what? So this is hands down the best thing that Kevin has done out here on our farm so far. And he has done some pretty amazing things, y'all. But I'm pretty sure Noah's Ark takes the cake. He surprised us with an amazing Christmas present. And he bought the goats a boat. So he built this whole playground stemming off of the houses that we just built for them. But this goat playground has an awesome little surprise in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. So as you come up the ramp, there's a whole little deck area and a little hideout space in the shade where the helm of the boat is, where you get to drive it, of course. <laughs> so a little hideout spot for the goats to hang out in up above the deck. and it's got two slides coming off of it. He built these really wonky ramps coming off of it. So they look kind of like Dr. Seuss ramps. None of them are really even or straight, but underneath it is all straight. So it just looks a little wonky, but the goats will have no problem using it. Let's check out the slide. So next he got a ton of these um, wooden spools and added some ramps going from um, one spool to the next and the goats absolutely love climbing up on top of it. The goats like being up high and it's good for them to get exercise and kind of stimulate their minds a little bit by giving them different things to play on. That's why we included slides and ramps and spools to jump on and all sorts of things. But this is the best part of the boat. Y'all, there is a house underneath it. It's literally Noah's Ark. It's a boat made for animals. Oh my gosh, I can't even. So now all of our goats get to stay in one space underneath the house. Well, Scout will still get her own house and our two newest girls Penny and Sandra they still like to be by themselves but the rest of the family will all be in there together he created this adorable drawbridge door to open we just have to add the strings to the side but this huge boat is not only an adorable playground for them to play on 
but it actually has an amazing use and purpose and it has a massive house underneath and by allowing us to have this house that frees up some of our other houses that we just built for new rescues which is so awesome hi scout what do you think hi babies you guys like it what do you think so he built these ramps going across with two four by four posts and a sheet of plywood. He took the sheet of plywood and he cut it into individual stairs and made it appear like there are individual steps. But if you look underneath, it's actually completely protected so the goats can't fall through. It's just made to look like they have to step on each individual step to be able to walk across. So he just cut the sheet of plywood to make it look like little steps and then screwed it to the 4x4 posts and then screwed the posts to the wood spools. Hi, Albie. You taking a nap? So if you've been following along on our page, you've seen these goat houses that we just recently built. We put platforms on the top of this and just pe put pieces of wood screwed together from the house to some of these wooden spools just to create a little bit of a playground for them. Each goat got their own individual house with their own little window so that they could see out. But we found out that some of our goats don't want to be by themselves. They wanted to be with the family. So this new boat is actually gonna be perfect for everyone to be all together and stay in one space. And the ones that wanna be separated can be separated. Okay, so I know I'm going to get a ton of questions about these wooden spools and where we get these. So these are the spools that they actually use for electrical wires and big cables. You can find them online on Craigslist or in the Facebook marketplace. We are always scouting these out and keeping an eye out for these because they're seriously so perfect for goat playgrounds. And every now and then we'll get lucky and we'll find one or two for free online that someone is just throwing away. But usually they're about $50 to $100 per spool. The bigger ones are more expensive and the smaller ones are a little bit cheaper, but they just make such a perfect playground and they last so long. So huge shout out to LCEC, which is our power supply company here who actually donated all of these wood spools to us. We saw them on the side of the road working. We jumped out of the car and we asked what they were doing with them when they were done and told them what we wanted to use them for. And they ended up donating all of them to us. So this ramp, he kind of made like crooked and wonky and kind of made it look sort of Dr. Seussy because that's kind of my vibe. I love the creativity behind it and it also allows for the goats to have a little bit more mental stimulation trying to figure out how to walk on a slightly sideways ramp um, like mountain goats do. And then he built the ramps high enough so that the goats can go above us. So goats like to be up high, they like to climb on things, but this also allows them for a safe space to get up and get away from us, from visitors that are coming if they wanted to. Um, they can get so high up that we can't reach them and it kind of gives them a little safe space up there. Overall, this entire build did not cost very much. We were able to do all of this for pretty cheap. Well, firstly, because of Kevin and his amazing creativity and handiness and his ability to just build and create anything that he puts his mind to. But really and truly, we would not have been able to do this or any of the things that we do out here without all of the support from people like you. On Giving Tuesday this year, we fundraised $3,000 and a good majority of this was to go towards animal housing. Well, not only was Kevin able to create animal housing and opening up more space for more animals to take in, but he was able to create an entire playground, a whole jungle gym and exercise yard for our goats to get stimulation and exercise and have fun all day long and we still had enough money left over after that to feed everybody so we just wanted to say thank you so much for every single one of you and all of your support and allowing us to be able to rescue animals in need and spoil them rotten and give them the absolute best care that we can possibly give them it is all thanks to you guys we love and appreciate you so much oh penny girl you want to race me okay ready three two one <laughs> you cheated <laughs>